This makes no sense. Any journalist would kill to get a scoop on Ruben Lavero. Why would he want me to write a profile? I mean, everyone else on this plane is famous or important, except me. It's just a bit of turbulence. You haven't been to Isla Esperanza before, have you? I only read that Mr. Navarro has owned it for 15 years. B, it's a tropical paradise. No wonder Ruben Cherry picks his guest every year. So, you must be someone very important. I know. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss St. Germain. I'm relative. You actually own the magazine I write for. I do? Oh, it's hard to keep track these days. Oh, mon dieu! That drop! Not even private flights make a difference! Oh, I'm sorry, Cherie. I can't think straight with this ear pain. If you'd like, I have some sparkling water. Finally, I was expecting champagne on board, but your idea sounds better, merci. No worries, I'll just get my bag. My luggage should be in the passenger compartment. Have you got any water? You're such a darling, Carla. I can see why Ruben finally. Oh, wow! C'est magnifique, no? Ah, I missed the ocean air. We're back, kiddos! Get ready to party! My man! Let's just get to the mansion first, okay? So, where's the big mouth? We raced the storm ahead of you. A perfect moment to take in the scenery, isn't it? Um, may I take a photo with you, Miss Saint Germain? Depends on what you need it for, Cherie. It's just for my personal archive. You're a big inspiration to me and others in publishing. Well, you flatter me. Fine, let's get a pretty picture of us.
Apologies for the delay, everyone. Mr. Navarro is ready to see you now. May I show you to the foyer? This was the front door, I bet. Mind your own business, monkey suits. Or I'll mind it for you. The name's Lucas Matonis. I don't care. I'm Mr. Navarro's security chief. I suggest you follow me. Ah, just my luck. Is that really Dr. Cat? I can offer my help to break the ice. Can I help you with something? Oh, I doubt it. The lock on my suitcase just keeps getting stuck. My dad taught me a few tricks with a bobby pin. May I? Please. I just want to get a souvenir out for Reuben. No worries. It's sort of a working vacation anyway. Working on Esperanza? I'm not sure Ruben would allow. Shall we go inside and ask him ourselves then? Hurricane? They're calling it Noah. It's a category two, but looks like it'll miss the island entirely. Well, I sailed my trusty boat to Esperanza. The ocean was as smooth as glass. Ah, a full house. What a treat to see you again, Cat. A little something for your collection, as promised. I'm very pleased you could join us, Miss Page. Gracias, Mr. Navarro. It's surreal to be here. Right then. We have a lavish and exciting weekend ahead of us, my friend. There's no cellular service on the island, but I'm setting up a local network. Meanwhile, most of you already know my assistant, Portia Frost. You'll find your room keys on the coffee table. Make yourselves at home. Hello, Miss Frost. I'm Carla Page. Hmm. Seems like Fre Seems like Freddy's already taken his key. Got it. Dear guest, please settle into Isla Esperanza, the home of my heart. Once my housekeeper serves dinner... It's Lucas! Hurry! I'm afraid it's too late, Mrs. Bird. Samuel, help me pull Lucas out on the patio. Oh dear, my poor lad. You, you don't deserve this. Can't, can't we call for a medical helicopter? Bless your heart, chérie. But there's no helping anyone in his condition. We might as well be on Mars with this cell reset. Someone, please bring me a satellite phone. It's in the foyer. On it. Souvenirs.
found the satellite phone, Miss Page. He's really gone. That's awful. I'm so sorry. I think he tripped and hit his head. Not Lucas. He didn't have a clumsy bone in his body. It's an unfortunate accident. My condolences. I'm going to notify the authorities in Panama. Jax, please help the Admiral move the body to the basement. For now. I'll come with you. What a weird story. I'll take a few photos just... to lend in here. How are you coping, Mrs. Bird? I've lived through worse shocks, but worse heartbreaks. It keeps hitting me all over again that Lucas is gone. I just can't seem to pull myself away. If you don't mind me asking... Does this accident seem strange to you in any way? Oh, I don't know. Lucas was young, healthy, and steady on his feet. Should have had decades to live. Nothing tragic ever happens on Esperanza. And now, on this special weekend... Oh, Ruben's guests shouldn't go hungry any longer because of me. Please, you're shivering like a leaf, Mrs. Bird. You must be in shock. Let me find you a blanket, okay? Oh, all right, dear. I think I left one back on the veranda. I might have to wake up that cutie. Uh, hi. Some grim business by the pools, eh? Can't you be more respectful here? Someone just died. Whoa, calm down. I'm just saying it put a damper on the weekend. You weren't there for the room assignments or anything that followed. Yeah, so? All those formal introductions are boring. So, I went to the Razor Toasters the weekend. Hey, where did you come from anyway, pretty thing? It's Carla Page. And who's asking? <laughs> You don't know who I am. The one and only Freddy Wolf. Want to hear more about this goalkeeper and heartbreaker, eh? I have to get this blanket to Mrs. Bird now. <laughs> Suit yourself. Thank you, dear. I'll be fine. I just need a few minutes. Take as long as you need, Mrs. Bird. We haven't met. Admiral Sam Wilkinson. And who might you be? Pleased to meet you, Admiral. I'm Carla Page. So is this your first dead body? Outside a funeral? Yeah. And yet you don't seem too shook up by it. Why is that? Given the circumstances, Admiral, you're surprisingly calm too. I've seen plenty of bloodshed, Miss Page. Unlike you or any other civilian on this damn island. Yet it always saddens me when great men lose their lives so early on. Mr. Matonis was loyal to Reuben, and I can't imagine a better virtue in a security man. Freddy Wolf wasn't a big fan of Lucas, was he? 
You sure do ask a lot of questions. Comes with working at Peak Life, I suppose. A reporter? What in God's name are you doing here? I got an invitation from Mr. Navarro himself. I'm a bit surprised myself, sir. Oh, I seriously doubt that. Excuse me, Miss Page. Huh. Nobody trusts me enough. Hmm. I could remove this pool grate with a screwdriver. I wonder if they get... Can I help you, senorita? Oh, hello. Are you Mr. Navarro's groundskeeper? See, si, I'm Joaquin Diaz, but everyone calls me... Whatever grows on Isla Esperanza, I tend to it or know about it. Nice to meet you, Q. I'm Carla Page. I... I don't suppose you're carrying a screwdriver? Only shears and trowels here, Miss Page. Uh, but you can check that toolbox over there. I need to attach a handle first. Hmm. I could remove this pool grate with the screwdriver. Check out Nancy Drew over here. Snoop much? Well, yes. Actually, I do. I'm a journalist. Psh, a reporter? What? Do we have a problem here, Mr. Wolf? It's all good. I'm gonna find some food. Whoa. Freddy's limping. Never a good sign for an athlete of his age. The storm is going to delay the authorities. Since we're fairly sure that Lucas had an accident, there's no urgency. With all due respect, Mr. Navarro, I believe there's a bigger story here. Ruben! You should get some rest, Miss Page. I promise we'll discuss your article after dinner. I didn't mean... Well, I suppose it's time to settle into my... <laughs> 